I bring my lunch to work and often I eat veggie soup as it's easy to make and I'm a vegetarian. When I eat the soup, I feel like a sloppy little peasant and I don't want my coworkers to get that impression. How can I eat soup powerfully to project an image of confidence and soup dominance? That's from Amanda from Ottawa who prefers they, them pronouns. Well, Amanda, you've come to the right place for soup chat. Ha mm, have they? I don't know that that's, I don't know that that's true. If you really want to prove dominance over a slice of za, what do you do? You fold it in half, you house it in one bite. Everyone's right. very impressed. Good cool. Job. Yeah. yeah cool. I haven't heard I haven't heard that before. That sounds <laughs> yeah. cool. I, you had me until the one bite part, Justin. If you, <laughs> if you wanna show your dominance over a bird You unhinge your jaw you and you slam your jaw, it straight you slice down it in your collar. <laughs> Yeah, Scram just it. like a real wimpy. <laughs> and you a... yell, New York style, before every bite. <laughs> With a soup, you are rate limited by the amount of soup that you can ingest in any one motion. So the only way to prove dominance is to... Just p pound it with a, a lot of speed. Now let me offer another option though, Justin, because I disagree with you on the rate limited. Because what I think you need to do is revolutionize soup consumption, soup out of a tumbler. That's And you can do it chugging soup. Cause that's impressive, especially if it's a chunky boy and you can do it in one. Bigger spoon? Mm, no. No? Bigger spoon makes you look like more of a sloppy peasant. Slotted spoon. Sloppy peasant. I would say daintier spoon is actually a better way to go. Cause a sloppy peasant isn't drink, isn't eating soup with a dainty, like very decorative, like that, the end of the spoon is like a uh, peacock feather. Have someone feed the soup to you. Okay, Ooh. that's that's not sloppy at all. That's, that's very good. elegant. And it literally is showing dominance over another human being, where you say like, I saved his life in the <laughs> war, and now he has to feed me soup every day. He has a life outside of this, yeah. but from 12 to one, he has to feed me soup. Hey, what are you doing in here? You don't work here? Why are you just feeding that guy soup? I just, he seems like he's cooler than me. I saw him on the bus and I was like, damn. I, it seems like the right thing to do. I I gotta feed that man soup. I mean, people have to have been eating soup out of a tumbler, right? Like truckers or construction worker or surgeon. Or maybe a thermos. I mean, a thermos? Where are we? We keep saying tumblers like thermos don't exist. No, I don't want it. But thermos is different, right? Because thermos to me is like, it's a container. It has the lid you can drink out of. And as you said, it has been used by people for decades. I'm saying like you pour the soup Travis's into special a soup tumbler. cup. Yeah, it won't be called. Travis is right. It won't say thermos on the thing. <laughs> It'll say Travis's cool soup cup. You won't know what it is when you see it in stores if it doesn't say Travis's fast soup cup. <laughs> yeah, for boys. Travis's fast soup cup for boys. He put it right next to the chicken chicken soup for the boys' soul. For the boys next to it, and it's like, and if you really want to shoot this shit down. <laughs> Yeah, like a man. Like a man. Like a boy. <laughs>